How you doing? My name is Director X, the director of Superfly, and your favorite fucking music videos. What you want from a director, the, the top of tops, are understand every department thoroughly and tell those departments what they're looking for. They're shaping shots, they're shaping performances, they're shaping story, they're shaping sets and locations. Their influence goes throughout the entire process. The big cherry on top is that you're the leader of a, of a little army. It's the director that holds it together. You know, if, if someone starts arguing over here, you set this tone, your behavior as the director is what's either gonna let that derail your production or just be a, a mosquito bite that gets flicked away. Much music was where I, I've decided that I wanted to direct it. It was when the cameras became interesting. Before that, I thought I was gonna be a graphic designer or something like that. And then being there, watching the music videos, being around the cameras and the lights, I said, hmm, this is a creative outlet too. Maybe I, maybe I can do this. I got in as an intern with Hype's company, Big Dog Films, and then uh, moved up to doing storyboards and, you know, worked my way up into the director's chair. R. Kelly Down Low, I remember being special because I boarded that out. And I mean, I, like, I inked it, like it was damn near a comic book. I was around for when they did Down Low. I remember I wasn't there on set when they did uh, the Tupac video, California Lovin'. It's just so much, man. I was just around so much. It was really influenced and gave me a lot of knowledge. So uh, I did second unit for a movie called How She Move. I reshot the big dance number at the end. It wasn't working with actors, but it was, uh, you know, it was a movie. So fuck it, let's go, let's get it. Anytime someone's gonna say you get to direct something, second unit, first, it doesn't matter what the fuck, go do it, go do it. My recommendation for anyone who wants to direct is to direct. Anyone who wants to sing, they should sing. Any, in, in the arts, go do it. What makes the day we're in so special is that you don't need what we need. When I, when I was a kid, and I was doing my internship, someone had to invest at least a couple grand. You need a team of professionals that knew what they were, it was really difficult, man. This wasn't just a thing, you had to hustle just to get a shot. Now you can pull out your phone and shoot something. So go and shoot, go and direct, and then you can go show that to people. I'm always a little surprised. Even when I was an intern and I shot like one project on a video, right? And I was able to use my connections at Much Music for my internship. And I took that video and I showed everybody anywhere especially when you're young people are you know a 19 year old 18 year old kid knocks on your office door and says hey can i show you something i directed unless you're a fucking asshole <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. you're like, oh, all right kid fucking show me the fucking all right show me the fucking thing and if it's good they go oh shit kid come around my office but like you're it's the right age and the right time that people will uh, let you do things and let you let you take kind of liberties because you're young and if you're talented they're going to want you around As a director, you're at a company, people are watching, they want to be part of it, and part of the way into the game is an internship. Karina and I have mutual friends, and I got a phone call like, hey, my, uh, my brethren sister wants to intern. She came in, she had some work she had shot on her own. She had taken the initiative, spent her own money to do something. It was really good. And I said, all right, yeah, you can work for free, come on. So she had a, a work ethic, you know, we're gonna be up till 3 a.m. working on a treatment. You gonna stay? I'm staying. We need to be here at 7 a.m. to do a thing. You gonna be there? I'll be there. We gotta go to the set, way up here, you know, all those things. And the answer should always be yes. And she said yes. So we really saw this talent. We really saw the work ethic. And uh, she signed to the company, then did a year of really low budget, great work. Based on that year of really artistic, wonderful work, they recognized her and said, you, you're you getting this award. And then the Drake videos came out and the world saw what we all saw. That's the game to play, man. Go out and shoot, go show, show people, even get an internship, whatever path it is you gotta take, right? You gotta try it all. But just the hustle, the hustle, this is, this is the arts, man. The, the hustle is absolutely everything well talent is something but we all what is what's that saying hard work succeeds when or it's, what it's something you know what i'm talking about that meme yeah. I'm, you guys can find it and like edit it up yeah. hard work talent when talent <laughs> hard work hard. work talent when hard work with, you know what the fuck i'm talking <laughs> about so hype said it's got to be about something and i was like what so every video has to be a story what does that what does that mean and then i began to understand that in a music video being about something could literally be the design it could be this video 
is about uh, white walls and black clothing. This video is about hanging people upside down and throwing paint at them. When you look at the real greats, the video itself, it's a mini little piece of art and it's consistent. It's uh, warm colors or cool, they, whatever it is, there's a true vision, it's about something. I took that to heart and, and always held that. So when you look at my videos, it's about something. Even if it's just a visual piece, it can be about the split screens. There's a video I did for Belly called uh, a P.O.P. It's about color, it's about split screens, it's about sexuality, it's about fun, and it's about fashion photography. Zane Like I Could, try and find the director's cut of Zane Like I Could. It's on, it's on the net. But that one's about lasers and, and colors, you know? So each one is, each video I do, I say, okay, it's about, even, again, Hotline Bling, it's about the sets and the dancing. So that that's, that's the philosophy that I, I hold to. And honestly, I stole that from the best directors in the game. So if you're gonna shake that tree up, you need to learn those rules first, and then you can go and start doing things that are about nothing, which again is actually about something. So you see. <laughs> Picasso, I don't know if he really said it, but there's a quote that's attributed to him saying, talent borrows, genius steals. The world is full of information for you, full of influence. And as a uh, artist and as a human being, I believe once you see it, you get to take it. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm not one for a cultural appropriation. I don't, I don't buy that argument. If you're close enough to it to love it and you want to go do it, then go do it. Who cares? So artistically, if you see something you really love, take that influence. This is hip hop. We sample shit, bro. So uh, yeah, of course we sampled. We sampled James. James Terrell is an amazing, amazing, amazing contemporary installation artist. It's, his stuff really revolves around light. I was lucky enough to go see one of his actual shows in Los Angeles recently. There's a small gallery that has a bunch of James Terrell stuff. Really interesting stuff with light, how light changes. You know, you, especially at the in the art gallery, you can walk right up and look at it. At one part, there's the beauty of the work itself. And then another part, it is how'd you do it? It's almost like magic, because you can't, you can't look in and see the light bulb, you know? Yeah, really genius stuff, world renowned world-respected uh, artist. What I find is that there's a style of design that appeals to people. So even before uh, that video, there's, I have my style. I have the sets I build, like there's Sean Paul, Give Me The Light, the P. Diddy, Let's Get It. Then there's things like Khalees, um, Trick Me, which is I just painted on the walls. So there's, there's certain things and I've noticed that like uh, in Europe, they'd really gravitate to those videos. With the directors I'd meet, uh, say, especially like places like Sweden, the Netherlands, but I'd notice certain people would be attracted to those pieces of design. And I kind of feel that with uh, the James Terrell work, that my aesthetic and his aesthetic somehow or energetically, you know what I mean, were in that circle. And uh, it just fit really well. So. It just all, it all came together to make something like that. I mean, he released a statement like, yeah, it's obviously my shit. I sampled it, bro, what are you gonna do? It's hip hop, <laughs> it's fucking hip hop.